Hello, we're here at the Forest City Comic Con with co-producer and actor of the longest running te children's television series in Canada, hilarious house of Frankenstein, Mitch Markovic. 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 And there you go. And look at that. They know who he is. <laughs> you can't ask for better applause than live applause. No, that's terrific. Right, now some guy's talking. <laughs> eh whore! <laughs> yeah, this entire weekend is going to be stationed by the point of no sleep. All right! We're going to cut to a commercial and come back. We got a window. I'm here with Mitch uh, Markowitz. So tell us about um, the hilarious house of uh, Frankenstein. I don't know. What can I tell you? It was a kid show we did uh, in 1971. Ostensibly, it was a kid show, although the humor was way above the level of most children. And it's been running now for about 44 years, off and on, throughout Canada, the United States, and abroad. What made it popular? Well, I think the humor had something to do with it, the look had something to do with it, the feel had a lot to do with it, and the fact that Billy Vincent Price was the host Ooh. certainly didn't hurt. For sure. And you also had a partner called Super Hippie. Yes. Super Hippie did two or three cameos in every in all 130 episodes. So, so that means that you were super and you had a lot of hair, so you were a hippie. There you go. Awesome. So um, what are you up to these days? I do a lot of these comic cons and live festivals and things like that, meeting the audiences. I'm actually seeing three generations of Frankenstein fans. The people who watched the original shows in the early 70s, their kids who watched the shows in the you know 1990s, early 2000s, and their grandkids who are watching it on DVD. Cool. We'll shake our booty later. I'm gonna, yes, kick, yes. I'm gonna kick Austin in the hole. Come and dance with us because we're smashing. People are dancing, so you know we're gonna pretend to dance for a bit. This this will be you for know, fan your friend. on Rogers Station. He's also, he's also a radio host, so he yes. likes to talk a lot. Come on, get like your asses up here, Dan. He likes to say ass. <laughs> <laughs> now you had a run you Come had a you had a shout out from um, Michael Myers, Mike Myers, not, not, not the Michael one with the stabbing no, thing. No, no, Mike Myers. He was kind enough to give us credit for his inspiration in his Austin Powers movies. He watched Right and Sign every day after school, and that's where he got the mini me and maxi me that he did in the Austin Powers movies. By watching your show? Yes. From which character, Frankenstein? No, it was from watching Igor, who was a huge 350 pound guy, right. and the mini count, who was 31 inches tall. Wow, that's amazing. That's awesome. So there's our connection. That's right. <laughs> he inspired me and Mini Me. Okay, bye. And how can we get a hold of you? And or Hilarious House of Frankenstein. Frankenstein has its own web page, and um, you can get in touch with me by uh, super superhippie.com. Superhippie. Yeah, S U P P E R. Did I say P P? He said PP. I, that's like supper hippie. No, it's super. S U P E R H I P P Y dot com. Okay, and they're going to have a picture of you as super hippie on there? Oh, there's lots of stuff on there. <laughs> Excellent. I look forward to seeing that. As for all the interruptions, that would just like people talking about dancing and stuff. A bunch Th of people in costumes or. Thank you for the interview and uh, great meeting you. No, thank you. It was my pleasure. My pleasure. You're the inspiration for myself and my little mini me clone. Well, there you go. <laughs> and thank you. Hello, I'm back here with Mitch Markovic. 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 The, the, the European in me would say. Here, if you talk to you, I would like to come up. 